Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Rosie F. And today I'm going to show a small Timu order. Part of the large one that I received this week. I'm just kind of breaking it down to smaller videos. I don't think you want to watch an almost hour and a half video. So I'd rather make it small. <laughs> and if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> and just, I just want to state a uh, I've probably said it probably a bunch of times, but I'll say it again. I am an official Timu affiliate, so you'll see a code appear right about here. And what it is, if you enter that code, it does present some discounts and coupon codes, depending if you're a new user or you're a returning user. And there are different bundles that Timu sometimes offers. Sometimes there's a 30% discount or there's probably a $100 or $200 coupon bundle depending on the amount that's purchased and it'll depend on how much you'll drop. <laughs> and anytime that code is used, I'm sent a small little commission to assist me the, for any purchases I want to do in the future, especially for diamond painting. <laughs> and yeah, without further ado, Let's look at the paintings. Ooh, apologies. That was really loud. <laughs> so my first one is this. And as I probably said in a couple of my videos before, I kept everything pretty much in the original packaging because it was a large bag from Kino. So I usually try to remove the plastic before I do the video, but I was so excited. I just grabbed everything from the bag. This time, everything kind of probably doesn't make sense. I was trying to keep everything in the paintings to kind of match, but I was just so excited to open these. <laughs> and so, this one. Once you take them out of the plastic, you just unfurl them, and they will come with the diamonds in the standard kit. So, just in case you need the diamond painting, the standard kit is the tray, the wax, and the pen. And all you would do is get the pen, Press into the wax, press it onto the diamonds that you poured into the tray, press it onto the painting, and voila, you are officially a diamond painting. <laughs> and do not worry, if in case you lose it or it breaks, your next painting will have this kit as well. <laughs> and these are the diamonds. Oh my goodness, we're back to my earthy tone. I love earthy tone, and I believe I've said it in almost every one of my videos. Because a lot of the paintings I pick have earthy tones. And oh, I really like the little sand color in the middle. Yeah, this is a really, really kind of more earthy tone kind of vibe. <laughs> and the painting is this. And I love teacups. And I believe I said it every time I show a little teacup painting. I love teacups. And I actually have a couple of paintings I finished majority from Timu. That there is either a teacup or a little teapot to it and yeah they're real simple but i love how they look apologies i'm gonna pick up the plastic real quick just to take care of the creases it'll help settle down the painting and it'll kind of help it as well so you can see it more clearly with all the creases oh my goodness i love this one blue is my favorite color so when i saw that they put kind of small blue flowers i really wanted to pick this one up and i love the little teacup with the little steam coming up and the little plate under it. I actually have a teacup that's kind of, not in this style, but it has roses on it. A oh, real one, mind you, not, not a painting. It has the same thing as the little plate and it's ceramic. And I bought it specifically when I make tea. <laughs> and so some information about the painting. It is M14, it's 20 by 20, and it's 14 colors. Yay. <laughs> and it's all the legend is all in capital letters which i'm a big fan of because oh my goodness it makes it so much easier when you start working on the painting at the time of purchase for this painting i got it as a lightning deal so i got it for a dollar and 14 cents i actually got it really really affordable price and usually the 20 by 20s they'll knock them down to a dollar and some change so that's why i usually wait until there's any 20 by 20s i want I wait till the price is knocked down and you can actually see the printing on the field real clearly let me see if I can get a little closer Ooh, I zoomed in a lot <laughs> you just see the painting coming towards you 
I love like how clear it is. And I have no problems with all of the white background. I'm kind of used to it because a lot of my 20 by 20s have a white background. So I don't mind it actually. It's easier to kind of color block. And I love that it'll pop a lot of the blue and the teacup decal as well because of the light background. And for this painting, I will put an image here in the middle of the screen so you can see it clearly. It's a nice little teacup is your style as well. <laughs> I'm just going to put this aside real quick. Oh, there we go. I thought I was going to drop it. And this is the next painting. So this painting I fell in love with. I saw all the colors and I just wanted to pick it up. And this one as well, I waited till there was a discount price. A lightning deal as well. I usually do that, as I said, whenever I'm purchasing, especially diamond painting or anything on Timo. I wait till it's on the lightning deal. But since the majority of my Timo orders are lightning, sorry, lightning, are diamond paintings, majority of my suggestions are diamond paintings. So as well, standard kit. And these are the diamonds. Oh, I love that little dark forest green. I like that color a lot. Oh, I see that little maroon in the back. Oh, and the random little yellow in the front. You can see it through usually extends. These are strips. That was the other one, they're little sachets. They kind of roll them up together when they're going to pack them up. And I love sometimes they'll hide little random colors in the middle. I love that maroon color. Oh, random blue. See how I said sometimes they hide? <laughs> and this is the painting. So it's supposed to be a field of flowers with a really, really beautiful, colorful sky with the sun. And when I first saw the image, it looks painted. That's the style the flower, well, pretty much the whole painting looks like. It looks like a field that's painted with acrylic. Kind of, you can kind of see the effect when you first see the image. And I just fell in love when I saw the sky and I love flowers. I'll say it every time I get a flower painting. I love flowers. <laughs> so that's why I was so excited that it was a field of really colorful flowers. And I really wanted to pick this one up. And so some information about the painting. It is BK209 and it is a 20 by 20. It is 13 colors. And all of them, I'm sorry, the legend is capitalized letter. Did I say alphabetized? No, I know, capitalized <laughs> in my last painting. Oh. <clears throat> oh, my apologies. I had to clear my throat. And actually, give me one moment. I'm going to take a sip of water really quick. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, I'm back. I actually started talking and I forgot. Ooh, I'm muted. I wanted to mute it because I didn't want y'all to hear me clear my throat really loudly. So that's why I muted it. And you probably saw my hands. I started talking. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, it's muted. <laughs> my microphone switches off the light whenever I mute it. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Yeah, the weather's been changing, so my allergies are kind of going all over the place. And oh, as I stated, they're all capital letters. And yeah, I'm so excited to work this painting up because I can already see all the colorful flowers. And all of my recent 20 by 20s and my previous completion video of a 20 by 20 I finished, all of them have been coming out really clear considering the size. So I cannot wait to do this one. And for this painting as well, I'll make sure to put an image here in the middle of the screen so you can see more clearly the nice field of colorful flowers. Is your style as well. <laughs> Let me put this aside real quick. And this is the last painting. So this one's a bigger one, but when I saw it, I, I knew I had to show it. Just as much as I love teacups, as, just as much as I love flowers, I love the moon. So I do have, well, not really, not as many as, oh, sorry about that. Not as many as I would like, but I've been slowly been buying more paintings that include the moon. So I'm real, real excited about that. And this one as well, it's a little bit bigger, but it's the same idea that you would unfurl it and you can see it has the diamonds and the standard kit and a brand new piece of plastic. Let me throw that. <laughs> and as I said, they always find you. <laughs> 
And these are the diamonds. Oh my goodness, I love the purple and the peach. I love peach. Oh, peach the fruit and peach the flower. I love both. And I see that big old bag of, I'm not too sure if it's black. I think it might be a dark blue. And oh, there's a really light blue here, like pastel-y blue. Um, yeah, as you can see, as I said, since they're all in sachets, they get kind of rolled up. I guess that's the word I can use. So sometimes you'll see some colors hidden in between. See, there's like a really pastel pink and a really dark blue. I like that purple too. And I see this poor little packet here of white. I think they just, yeah, it's 20. They just slipped it in. So I feel so bad for this little packet. <laughs> and this is the painting. They said it is a larger painting. It has the bone. It has my wonderful little tree, I believe, of cherry blossoms or plum blossoms. I've been seeing that a lot of trees that have the flowers on them, they're not always cherry blossoms. I always assume they are because anytime I see those trees have the pink color. But I've seen that plum plus plum blossoms there you go. also kind of have the effect as well. So it could be either one. But it's so so pretty. I love the coloring on this painting too, especially with the tree and the sky. I'm sorry about that, I'm just fixing the plastic a bit. And there we go. Oh my goodness, the moon is so detailed on this one. I, as I said, I saw the image and I saw the moon and it's a full moon this time. I've been seeing a lot of crescents and a lot of half moons, but I don't see a lot of paintings with the full moon. My goodness, it is, in person, it's really, really detailed. You can see the moon perfectly. You see the nice little dark branch with the blooming flowers and the mountain range at the distance with the smoke. Or, I don't believe it's smoke, it might be the low cast clouds that they're sometimes around the base of the mountains. Sorry, I don't know whether, I'm just assuming that's what it is. And yeah, I really, really love that. Oh my goodness, I love this image. I haven't seen it in person, so when I pulled it from the from my little large order, I was amazed when I first saw it. I love the blue of the sky. My goodness, I'm getting distracted again. So <laughs> information about this painting. It is QT317 and is a 30 by 40 and it is 21 colors. Now the legend, luckily it's all capital, why do I keep saying alphabet? Capital letters, which I'm so glad they didn't sneak in a number just randomly. Oh my goodness, this is so, so pretty. And if you actually, I'm going to pick this one up as well. I love the dark color. They kind of switch it to a white coloring. And for the moon, since it's kind of more white, they switch it to a dark coloring. It's so clear. And I love that. I'm really resisting on kidding this one up right after the video. <laughs> it is so much prettier than I thought. I was not expecting it to be so clear. This kind of surprised me. And my voice sounds like that. That's because I really am surprised. <laughs> and for this image as well, I'll make sh I'm sorry, for this painting as well, I'll make sure to put an image here in the middle of the screen so you can see it more clearly. The nice moon with a wonderful flowered tree. It's more your style. Oh my goodness, I am really thinking of kidding this one up. <laughs> and so yeah, that's all I wanted. That's all I wanted to show today. And oh, and I've been seeing that we are officially at 395 subscribers. So woo, we just need five more. As I said, I did. I have decided that if I hit the 400 range, I am going to do kind of a special episode for number 400. Thinking of gifts and uh, raffling out a painting, but I'm not too sure yet. We'll just wait until I hit the 400. <laughs> and again, if you're returning, so, so, oh my goodness, I can't even speak. I got so excited about this painting. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really, really do appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, all I ask is if you can do the usual. If you can like and subscribe, it'll really help the channel out. Really push push it out in the algorithm. And allow me the opportunity to show all of these wonderful paintings to everyone out there. <laughs> and again, thank you for your time. And have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you.